why you don't take financial advice from YouTubers. Now, is this the end? Of course not. We're dealing with criminals here. But what we can do is I can describe what the hell is going on for you. So this red line here is when uh, SLR was enacted, April 1st of 2020. This right here, what you see right here, this is called leverage. This yellow line here is when the repo market starts. You can see we stop. Let's actually let's draw some let's, some trend lines here. So let's start at this point here. Let's go, Brandon. Just kidding. Let's go up here. Right when uh, repo takes over. So you know, for a very poorly drawn trend line, that's the general trend since uh, SLR. And then when SLR is over. We have a more. Let's just let's start right here. It, it starts to flatline a little bit, right? Because all of a sudden there goes your free leverage. It's it's not nearly as uh, beneficial to the banks when they're able to exclude treasuries and buy up risky assets with the extra cash they have laying around, which is what leverage is. They're loading up their books with GME, AMC, all these other kind of stocks, um, small cap, mid cap, what have you. You see those stocks get leveraged in 2021 and 2020, basically. Now, before SLR ended was when we saw them load up on AMC and GME. Like, basically, we're talking, like, between Fidelity, BlackRock, and Vanguard, a good portion of both floats. Then you see the repo take over, and it starts to flatten out a little bit. This red line I've put here for the SFT service, I anticipate it getting enacted at some point around this time. But yeah, this is the worst day we've had since COVID. RSI as is at 22 on the Dow. It's the last time it was this low. Uh, we we were down at six. We got to 16 for uh, right before SLR started, and we're currently at 22.41. So lowest it's been since this time. The question is, what's going to catch it this time? What's going to catch it? Could it be profits from Chinese stocks that they're going to pump up? I don't know. Did I just say that? Anyways, let's go. Br oh, that's political. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's why AMC and GME are falling. That's why Boss Blunts is wrong. That's why, you know, you can't learn how things work by just hyping people uh, around nonsense for an entire year. If you want to learn what's going on, you got to research. You got to be autistic. You got to look at shit. You got to understand shit. You got to read shit. And that's the difference between me and Boss Blunts. So have a good one.